This is Rich Swingle with IFA Media, and when I was at the Christian Worldview Film Festival, John Irwin called the leadership there. Now, John is one of the Irwin brothers. They created October Baby, Mom's Night Out, I Can Only Imagine, Woodlawn, and most recently, American Underdog. And John asked, can I bring down our newest film that we're working on? So we got, praise the Lord, the leadership said yes, and we got to see a rough cut of Jesus Revolution. It's absolutely outstanding. So what you're about to see is John introducing the film to the film festival. Then it's going to roll into his comments after the film. I happen to be here at Sherwood, or I really was able to answer that question, what, what's your purpose and purpose of your work? And then another time at Sherwood, literally right here, I was able to say, you know what, I want to serve God with my gifts. I want to serve God's people with my gifts, and I'm going to let him add the rest. And it was just a couple years later that I can only imagine it happened and really did well, really, really well. And we, we had business clients made, and the more I focused on serving God with my gifts and God's people with my gifts, the more he's added everything else that I could have ever dreamed. And, uh, and, and the more I start chasing <laughs> everything else, the more it all falls apart and has to reorient me again. It's a constant process. But, uh, but so I hope the same thing for you. I ask yourself that question, why are you here? What's my purpose? What's the purpose of my work? And that answer can be unique to you. And serve God with that purpose. And he will add things beyond your wildest dreams uh, if you'll let him. So that's my encouragement to you. This film is called Jesus Revolution. I've been trying to get it made for <laughs> since 2015. So, uh, so we made films like Mary Underdog and some others, like just to just to get this movie made. Like this was the movie I was trying to get to. It's the story of the last great revival in America that happened uh, in Southern California with, with hippies. It's a, a fun, funny movie, but I, I, my hope is that God can do this again in this generation and our time. That's why we made it. Uh, so I wanted you to see it. We dedicated life part earlier this week is that we ask the Lord to be glorified and to put his hand of anointing as it already is on here. John, we're so grateful for you and for your whole team for doing this with excellence, for honoring the gospel, for telling the story authentically. I think we need to pray that the Lord anoints this and to spark a new revival and spiritual awakening. Incredible first audience. It's always yeah. the first audience I saw. So can't wait to share what John said next. But I have to because it includes some spoilers. But I did want you to hear John's prayer requests and then you're going to see Stephen Kendrick lead John to the place where they had prayed for him before I can only imagine, he and his brother Andrew. And then Philip Telfer, who founded the Christian Worldview Film Festival and continues to be its director, is going to pray over John and over this wonderful film. I think God can revive a generation. To everybody that's young in this room, I think God can work through you in ways that He has not done before. And we are the generation that actually has a shot because of technology to get the gospel to the whole world. So, so I, you know, I like the idea of taking on the spirit of, you know, when Jesus says to Peter, "On this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it." The gate's not a weapon. No one's going to throw a gate at you. You know, gates are meant to be stormy. We're supposed to play offense, you know, and, and you know, we're supposed to invade. So I think that I hope my prayer is that God will revive us, that God will do this again. I think He can. And that this generation, you guys, when Jesus says, take the gospel of the whole world to his disciples, maybe 1400 some odd years or more before they, this continent even was discovered, you know? 
So if you think of the distance medley relay of Christianity, finally, we, we actually have a shot at this. And I think mass entertainment media is a big part of it. So my hope is that God sends revival here. The, the fact that people are getting baptized, I think if you want to get, get baptized while you're here, you know. I remember, I remember uh, you know, when we were filming these scenes, I'm like, gosh, can I be baptized? I'm directing a movie. I, I was baptized as a child, but I went in on this, you know. And, and, uh, and, and so uh, my hope is that God, God does it again. So um, my journey as a filmmaker of uh, telling faith-based uh, movies started right here at this church. And I hope God does just as amazing things to the filmmakers here. And uh, thank you guys for being the first audience to see the film. We got a long way to go to finish it. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is the right place. This is a praying holy room. As I started off this week saying, this is holy ground. Yeah. Two weeks ago, 56 people baptized here. Most, I think, ever in this church on an individual Sunday. This week, uh, the Lord hijacked our agenda, and there were 15 people that were baptized here this week. Woo! These are people that are showing up to learn about how to operate camera and lighting, and the Lord has an encounter with them. So, just as you have just heard the gospel, if you have never given your life to Jesus Christ, or you you have done that but want to be baptized, come let me know afterwards, and we can arrange for you to be baptized today. Okay, later on this afternoon. Now, now let me say this. We talked about stacking holiness earlier Amen. this week. The momentum of setting yourself apart for the Lord, honoring Him, praying about everything, and how the Lord blesses that. Uh, we prayed over Life Mark this week, our little $4 million non-SAG, non-union movie that the Lord told us to make. And uh, you guys have been very supportive of us. We've got a SAG $14 million Lionsgate distributed movie that John has produced, and it's about something that the Lord has done in the past. He had Greg Laurie on set, and we're sharing the gospel, stacking holiness, and we've encountered that this morning. And so I think it would be very appropriate, even as our church prayed over us at these altars, even as we prayed over you on these altars earlier this week, and we prayed over Life Mark. John, if you would, if you could go back to this altar where, we were, where you were praying over earlier, can we stand and come to this altar and let's pray for John for this meeting? Philip, you want to come join me? <coughs> Lord, we are so grateful for the people that you have entrusted gifts and talents for your kingdom. Lord, there is uh, it's appropriately called you know, a kingdom in their very name. Father, you receive joy when your son is honored and glorified and put forward. You told us that that's what we were called to do. And to preach this message around the world make disciples. We thank you for this movie, Jesus Revolution. God, we're not praying that it's merely a box office hit. We're praying that it will be an immersion into a faithful history that will inspire a new generation to come to Jesus and find hope and experience life for the first time. So we pray, God, for the prospering of this film, Lord, because for the purpose of your gospel, we want to pray along with John and his team, Lord, that you would, do, you would work a miracle in the, the things are so polarized right now. And Christianity has become so marginalized, and there are so many skeptics and cynics. But God, we know at the core of everybody's heart, just like that generation, Lord, it's nothing's working. Nothing's working. And Lord, we forget, just as was portrayed here, and the church forgets, that under all this conflict, Lord, 
people's hearts that are empty, souls that are thirsty. And we pray, God, that you would use this and anything else you choose to use, Father, to light the flame and start a bonfire for your kingdom, for your glory. That, Lord, we would see as has been so wonderfully demonstrated in this movie, Lord, that when you move, people's hearts change. And it defies reason because it's touching people's hearts and souls and filling them. So we pray, God, bless us. Bless us in the name of your Son, Jesus. Give them wisdom. Lord, our wrong way. We're so excited, Lord. We're so excited to be here together. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have our marching orders, intercessors. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, amplify these prayers that Philip prayed, these beautiful prayers. Yes, we pray for revival. Yes, Lord, open doors for this film to go far and wide. We pray, Father, that many would come in, that many would be bold to invite friends and neighbors to come see this $14 million film in a theater. And we pray, Father, that they would be touched and moved into your kingdom. We pray for rededications. We pray for sanctification. We pray, Father, for calls to ministry. And we call for baptisms, Lord, to come from this film. And we pray it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.